Welcome to the My Message Podcast. My name is Kaya Mochitani and I am your host for today's episode. Every episode, it'll be me right here. And on the My Message Podcast, we are working to make our messy life our message. So let's get right into it. Today, we are going to be talking about holiday season. Everything about holidays, the good, the bad, the ugly, the everything. Literally every part of it. Um, so let's get right into it. Holidays were always a fun time for me because honestly, like, I don't know. It just was an exciting time that I was able to spend time with the people I love. I was able to just be happy. It was like all the decorations, all the music. It it all just made me so happy. But I don't know, like, if any of you feel like this, but like the older I get and the more I progress in life, the more I'm like, more lonely or holidays feel for me and the more like not as exciting they get I don't know I love holidays and I love everything about it but there's something about like me waking up at 19 years old on Christmas morning versus obviously at like six years old like those are so different feelings and so I'm just learning to be okay with it kind of thing um as everyone knows we just had Thanksgiving and my Thanksgiving this year was unlike I am unlike any Thanksgiving I've ever had before I actually worked seven hours on Thanksgiving and dealt with some angry customers and some angry workers um, the majority of my day. (laughs) Not how I pictured spending my Thanksgiving, Um, but you got to do what you got to do, right? (laughs) Bills got to be paid. Um, I guess I would just say it was really hard on me and it just made me realize like, wow, like times are really no longer the same and like, wow, like I'm adulting, if you will, kind of thing. Um, yeah, I worked at the, like my night job and I was put in the back to do to go orders. So we basically had to pack these to go orders filled with like turkey, ham, mashed potatoes, salad, roasted veggies, gravy, all these sauces, cranberry sauce, everything. And so, um, in these huge boxes. So I had to like run out in the cart and like yell at their last name. People were waiting and, um, the kitchen got so backed up that not everything was ready even though it should have been and so people were waiting in their car for like 50 minutes almost and it was just hard because I had to be like the one to like message to everyone being like hey like I'm so sorry like I totally understand this is so annoying and like whatever it, it was just hard and so um I don't know my Thanksgiving was not all that in a bag of chips but I'm also very blessed because I did get to like spend time with my family right after work for like 30 minutes so that was it it was something and that actually helped me a lot um yeah and I just feel like now that like I'm financially cut off like I find myself like not even being able to buy my friends and family like the gift that I know that they like deserve and want and it like kind of kills me inside because I'm a giver and I love to like give gifts and I feel like I think about like the gift that I'm gonna give to someone and I like try so hard on it And I just, like, don't have that, like, freedom, obviously, now. So, it's, I'm, I'm working on making it, like, very sentimental, but very easy on my pockets. Um, and a message I really want to hone in on right now is just to spread love during this season. Literally just spread love because it genuinely costs zero dollars. Like, we are all able and worthy and able (laughs) To give love to somebody and I think especially during this what's supposed to be super jolly season not a lot of people maybe feel like that do you know what I mean so I feel like now is the time to just like spread love and I'm going to go through free literally free ways of spreading love but before I do that I just want to say this to all the people who's loved one is no longer here with us today to all the people who aren't really close with your family anymore for whatever reason to all the people who feel lonely and feel empty during this holiday season when you feel like you're supposed to be with the people that you love but you aren't to all the people who are struggling financially when to the people who can't buy their daughter a toy or who 
can barely even put food on the table during this holiday season. To all the people who struggle with eating during this holiday season, to all the people who are simply just not able to be with the people that you love during this holiday season, I just want to quickly just tell you, I see you and I hear you and you are not alone. And if there's any way that I can show you love or make you feel more warm and happy inside, I want to do so. Um, just know that I see you and I hear you and and during this holiday season, these people and everyone else struggling for whatever reason during this holiday season, you guys are on my heart and in my mind so heavy. Um, and with that, these are the people that could be walking around in Target, but you have no idea what they're battling with. These are the people that you could be going through a drive through and they're behind the car and they're scrambling for change because they don't know where the money's coming from or how they're going to pay for this meal. These are the people who are at dinner, and I actually just thought about this, who are at dinner and they have a big family together, but you don't know if that if they're celebrating or if they're getting together because they lost somebody or something happened in their family. We never know what people are going through, especially during this holiday season. We don't know like what battles people are battling with from the person that literally could be walking right in the aisle behind you or right next to you or be walking at the Mary Kiss Nealies and Dana Point. You don't know what they're battling with. And so I want to give you some ways that you can show love that are 100% free. Free. Compliment a stranger. I try so hard, like, I don't know why, but, like, when I look at someone, I just think of, like, oh, my God, I love that on her, or I love that on him, and I just, like, blurt out, like, by the way, I love your hair. Your hair looks so good on you. I've said that before. People are like, whoa, thank you. That means so much to me. So, compliment a stranger, because it, it goes such, such a long way, and I believe that the second and the minute that you compliment a stranger, you make the world a little brighter. I believe it. Write someone a little note. Um, and leave it on their car saying happy holidays you are loved and just stick it on their windshield I don't know smile more it's a thing that the, I don't know if anyone's heard the imitation principle when you smile at somebody they're gonna smile back that's just their nature right they want to imitate what you do but if you give someone a mean look or like look like you're judging them they're gonna give you that same look back so why don't we just smile more because you're gonna get that back and I believe that'll make the world a little brighter Sorry, my, um, I'm like nasally. I don't know. I feel like getting a little sick, but it's okay. Um, volunteer somewhere, maybe at a homeless shelter, maybe volunteer at your church, maybe volunteer at your high school with a teacher who needs help or ask one of your high school teachers if they need babysitting for a night or something. Um, ask a struggling friend to go out to coffee or go out to lunch. You don't even have to eat lunch or get coffee or just sit and talk with them. Um, those are some free ways to show love. And I really quick now want to transition into talking about eating during holiday season. Because we know holiday season is sweets and yummy food all season long. From candy canes to candy to eggnog to fun Christmas and holiday Hanukkah, everything food. I don't know. Yummy. All of it so good this is what I have to say about eating during the holidays it truly is none of any of our business nobody's business whether you want to indulge or not indulge during this holiday season whether you want to eat sweets or whether you don't want to eat sweets whether you want to eat everything or stay on your regimen it truly is none of our business but what I do have to say is that if eating sweets is hard for you because you are restricting so much then maybe we challenge ourselves. Maybe we put a new mindset on sweets and not look at sweets as the problem, but our mindset about sweets is the problem, right? Um, or if you have intense fitness goals and you're like, I don't really care. I'm staying on my regimen. This is like my goals in life right now. And nothing's really changing. I don't care what season it is, winter, summer, spring. I do not care. Good for you. And more power to you because that's freaking amazing. But if you're like, you know what, quite frankly, I don't care. I love holiday season. I love candy. I love sweets. I'm going to eat whatever the F I want to eat whenever I want to. 
that's freaking amazing too. There is no judgment, no judgment at all. But I just want to challenge you if that you are restricting during this holiday season that you just say, you know what? I, I'm going to actually beat whatever this mindset, this mind block is about sweets because sweets is not the problem here. It's your mindset about it. I um, struggled a lot and I do struggle still. Yeah, I struggle still right now in this moment about eating during holiday season. Just, and I wouldn't say just as much, but I struggle a little bit. And I've struggled the year before and the year before, and I've struggled with eating during the holiday season. So if, I just want you to really quick listen to my words when I say this. I was so worried about the food on my plate or the food around me that I was not able to enjoy the company around me. I was not able to enjoy the people that I love around me. I don't want that for you. It's not worth it. It truly is not. At the end of the day, I don't think that you're going to look back at 30 years old and say, wow, I remember when I ate a cookie on Christmas Eve. Quite frankly, you're not going to remember. And quite frankly, it really won't do anything to you. Um, it's not worth it. It's not worth the mind battle in your head. It is not worth the draining during this what's supposed to be jolly season, right? But at the end of the day, it truly is none of our business. Nobody should be judging what you have on your plate. Nobody should be judging what you don't have on your plate. Nobody should be judging what you do have on your plate. But if you're restricting, I just want to challenge you and just try and change that mindset just a little bit. Um, yeah, I think during this season when it comes to food, I'm really working so hard on letting my body dictate what I eat, letting myself, you know, like if I'm craving sweets, then I'm going to go and I'm going to eat sweets. But if I'm craving, you know, something savory, I'm going to go ahead and eat something savory. So I'm really just focusing on just eating like what my body wants, whether that's a salad, if that's what my body wants, whether that's four cookies, if that's what my body wants, I really am just focusing on what my body wants in that moment. Amen. That's it. Um, I thought it would be a really good idea and super useful if I talk about, you know, some holiday gift ideas. Some of these ideas might hurt your pockets. Maybe you can go in on it with a few friends. Some of this is a little cheaper. So we'll start with gift ideas for boyfriends. So if you have a boyfriend and you're like, I don't know what to get him. Like I've tried everything. Here is um, some things that I've gotten Jake. Um, every year for his birthday, but you can also do this for holidays, is I get him, we both get like a matching pair of Vita bracelet. We have like five or six by now, so super cute. Love it. They're all on my ankle. Obsessed. Um, and they're cheap. Um, golf polos. Jake loves the good golf polo, and I don't think he can ever have enough of them. So, um, you can wear, and they're nice too, because you can wear them to a nice dinner, you can wear them to a banquet, you can wear them literally anywhere. Um, and he loves golfing, so it's perfect. And then gym clothing. So, like, I like to pick out clothes for Jake, and I pick out clothes that I think are super cute and will be super cute on him. So, when he wears them, I'm like, okay, you're super cute kind of thing. Um, Gymshark is having a really big sale right now, up to 60% off. And with the code EXTRA20, you'll get an extra 20% off all that. So, maybe that's something we'll look into. Um, or, <laughs> this is my favorite thing. A fun date experience that you can both enjoy. When I get something for Jake, I, you know, I'm a girl. I like to get some things out of it. It, It is what it is. Hence the matching Pure Vita bracelets. I get a bracelet too. But a fun date experience can literally be like a day trip to the zoo. And you get him like a zoo pass, but you also get a go to. Or like baseball game tickets or like a concert, something like that. That's super fun for girlfriends, for all the guys listening um cute clothes I literally love when Jake picks out clothes for me to wear because they feel really cute when I wear them I don't know why but it's just a thing um gym clothing same thing about um Gymshark makeup that might be a little scary for the boyfriends to buy girlfriends but whatever um hair utensils maybe your girlfriend needs like 
I need a blow dryer or a straightener or a curling iron. Something cute. Um, cute sentimental room decor. Jake and I, Jake has given me so many cute, like, sentimental gifts that I have, like, all over my room over there. So, I love it. Super cute. Nail gift cards. I haven't been able to get my nails done in a minute, so it's really sad. So, maybe Jake wants to get me some nail gift cards so I can go get my nails done. Um, shoes. I really want on clouds right now. I don't know. Boys, on clouds, all white. Girls love those. Um, for your mom, there is a brand called Leah Valencia Key, and she's having a sale right now. And I actually have one of her bracelets, and I wanted to shout her out really quick because you never have to take this bracelet off. It'll never turn anything green on you. It means so much and holds so much power in this one bracelet, and she's having a 40% off sale right now. So Leah, L-I-A, um, Valencia Key, B-A-L-E-N-C-I-A, Key, K-E-Y. So um, my bracelet says peace, and it comes in gold, and she has other sayings and like earrings and a lot of other things. Um, she's just such a light and so amazing. So I would love if you guys support her because she is absolutely incredible. Um, and then a sentimental picture frame for your mom, maybe you and your siblings like write on it, and it's all cute. Um, and some cute clothes. Your mom probably will love if you pick out cute clothing for her. For your dad, barbecue and cooking utensils. My dad's a big Vikings fan, so we've gotten him like a Vikings sp spatula or flipper, whatever you call him, um, the grill thing. Um, my dad loves fishing, so I literally look up on Amazon like fun fishing gadgets and like, or like best fishing hat and like get him something like that. Clothes. Come on, guys. I know your dad. Come on, girls, ladies. I know your dad doesn't have probably the best of style, so let's help him out here. Maybe it's a nice polo to wear. Or my dad needs a haircut, so maybe I'll get my dad a haircut. I'm just kidding. Um, brother, um, cologne. Yeah, my younger brother, he stinks, so I'm gonna help him out. Maybe let's get him like a cologne. Um, a good, my brother, he just got his permit, so maybe a cute driving kit would be a, a good thing. Maybe with, like, a gas gift card and a car set and something. I don't know. Clothes. Always good. And then my sister. Um, jewelry would be a good idea. I don't know about you, but if you have an older or younger sister, not everything that they pick out you might not love for some reason so maybe you just get your sister a gift card because then it'll be go to good use and not have to be returned um yeah <laughs> and then very last thing that i want to talk about for the holiday season is free slash cheap fun things to do during the holiday time holiday season holiday time no matter what holiday you celebrate Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Christmas, everything in between. Here's some fun things to do. Go look at go look at lights. People have amazing, amazing lights around their houses. And I think it's so fun listening to Christmas music, having some hot cocoa, and driving around. Ludera Ranch for the people in Orange County has amazing Christmas lights. Also for the people in Orange County, stop by the Dana Point Harbor Lights. So fun to do everyone does it but it's so fun and I will go every year and I do not care how busy it gets I will have to get my Merry Kiss Me Light picture why because it means a lot to me um watch a Christmas movie or holiday whatever holiday you um like or celebrate um let's watch a holiday movie with popcorn and hot cocoa and Maybe even like the Pillsbury, like fun cookies. I don't know. So fun. So easy. Um, maybe you invite your friends over for a My Favorites party. Um, basically what it is, is you buy like five of your favorite things. And I think they're supposed to be like $10 or something. And you trade it with somebody um, or something like that. And I think that is so fun. Or like a white elephant gift. Literally the gift you guys can do the limit for $5. And it is just so much fun. Um or decorate cookies or gingerbread house and just spend time with the people you love. Play some card games. Um, my family, we love this game, this card game called Phase 10. And we also love Rummy Cube. So if you guys don't know how to play that, definitely learn because that is so freaking amazing. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today for the holiday season. 
Um, I love you guys so much and I hope that you guys got something out of it and I hope you guys enjoy and for the people watching on YouTube, this just came in, the mail. Yeah, I like it. It's, it's Everything's coming together. Um, but yes, I love you guys so, 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 so much. So much with my whole heart and more. Till next time, I cannot wait. I love you. Mwah.